Hi, uh, my name is Jose. Uh, I'm just gonna quickly share something with you. Now, um, I'm not a camera person. I don't like doing videos. <laughs> I don't even like taking pictures. But um, when you have to do what you have to do, you just have to do it and get it over with. Now, I should have done this video since Monday, since Tuesday morning. Because I had a revelation um, Monday night, about wee hours of Tuesday morning. But <laughs> I think it's just the spirit of fear that's been keeping me from doing it. But I've just asked God for strength. I've just asked him for courage and um, just to do what he has asked me to do. So that this video will um, pretty much impact who, is, who it's meant to impact and to help whoever it's meant to help. Now, um, Monday night, or early, early Tuesday morning, I had a dream where it's like I was in an open field. And in the open field, the voice of the Lord came to me and said, go tell my people that I am coming. And I wanted to ask him a question like, don't they already know? He shouted and it, <laughs> the shout, you don't want to hear it. He said, go tell my people that I am coming. <laughs> I said, okay, I would go. And he said, while you're doing that, tell them. I said, neither doctors nor nurses or anybody will be able to find out what's going on because people are just going to start disappearing. They're just going to start missing. People are just going to start disappearing everywhere. The rapture is going to take place. So I said, okay, would they even listen to me? Like, So he said, just go and warn them. I said, all right. Now, in the dream, I was doing that in the fields. I was telling people, but <laughs> you know people as normal. They won't listen to you. Everybody was just ignoring me. It's like I was pretty much talking to the, the sticks in the field. Speaking to the dirt on the floor. Nobody was listening. And it reminds me in the days of um, Noah, when he was warning people about the flood. <laughs> they were even laughing at him, like, what's he on about? But then when the, fin when the, when the day finally arrived for the flood, when they saw the rain coming and the water started rising and stuff, that's when everybody went and started knocking on the doors and whatever for him to let them in. <laughs> but you know what? In this dream, although nobody was listening to me, I saw young people. I saw the, even the choir of the church that I go to. They started singing in clubs, like really taking the gospel out there. And I heard 20. And it was this morning it was confirmed to me. That the 20 was 20 days he has given me to share this message. While I do soul winning from henceforth. Um, the courage that I had to do this video was. it was The thing that hit me that really. Really shaped me to pick my phone up and do the video. Was like the same dream was given to a 12 year old, 12 year old girl in um, Southern Africa. But the thing is. It was the same revelation, but she got, only got three days and she was crying when she made the video. She was pleading with people like, please help me share this. The Lord said that if I don't share this in the next three days, he'll make my life a living hell. He will make my life miserable. But the 20 he gave me was the 20 days I heard. It was 20 days was confirmed. It was 20 days he gave me to share and to help reach out to people out there. Um, the thing, when I woke up from the, before I woke up from the dream, the Lord finally, the sky turned like all white with lights everywhere. And I start, people started looking like, what's going on? The whole atmosphere changed. And the Lord literally started appearing from heaven in the distance. It was so bright you couldn't behold him because the Bible says that nobody's going to see my face and live. Nobody can see me and live. And then we saw like a frame of him like literally coming down. And I said to people, I told you guys that he was going to come. I told, but nobody listened to me. Nobody was listening to me. And when I woke up from the dream, my whole mouth literally was filled with blood. I had to go and quickly like clean myself up. And the Lord said, you know what? <laughs> ah, <laughs> The interpretation was, that's the price you will pay. It's your life. The body is on your shoulder. And for every minute, every second, every day that you miss, I'm going to hold you accountable for it. Now, as I said, I'm not a camera person, but please listen and adhere. Change your life. Ch I'm not saying it's not good to have good things. It's good to have good things. But at the same time, you're chasing money. You're chasing cars. You're chasing your career. You, nothing is wrong with that. But then after that, you've gotten what you want. And then what? what's next? 
You're going to die. You're leaving it here. You're not going to take it with you. What's next? Why not let God be the middle of your life? Why not put him in the center of your life? Why, why not have him with you while you're doing all that? Enjoy life here, but at the same time, don't enjoy it without him. Help the people that are on the streets, the people that are hungry. Give them something to eat. I do it, so yes, I can say the same. I help. Even sometimes I might not be able to help myself, so to speak. But I do what I can do. There's nobody, nobody's perfect. And the Bible tells you that. There's not a just man on earth that do it good and sin it not. Type it and look it up. Don't quote me. The, the Bible says that um, a loveless world is a sightless world. If anyone love me, he will carefully keep my word. And my father will love him. He will move within their neighborhood. That's in John 14, 23. He'll move, he'll move within you. He'll move amongst you. He'll cause things to change. Things will work for your good. It will work in your favor. So I plead with you. I'm asking you. Change. Repent. Start somewhere. Start over. It's never too late. Give your life to Christ. And I just, I don't know, just step it up. Just do something. Um, I don't know if I will. If I come back on, if there is any more revelation, if I would come back, I, I don't know, because I'm not really a fan of this. But um, I hope this video reach out to the right person that is meant to touch. And I pray by the grace of God, it's not by my mouth, it's not by his power, not by my power, but by his spirit. Zechariah 4, 6, I ask and I plead with you, please change. Change your ways. The Lord is coming. The time is near. There are signs everywhere. There's um, this uh, video uh, on YouTube from the Apostolic TV. You can go like, subscribe to their channel um, where the prophecies were released in their um, all their service. Well, we say all their service in the Caribbean, but um, they say crossover. So the night um, after the prophecies were released, it was the next day we start, I start seeing confirmation like, yeah, Whatever this prophet said, Prophet John in Numa, you can go, when you go check, you can see. Whatever he said, they're beginning to come to pass. I even saw one thing where, um, I saw it this morning actually, where this virus is break now, has broke out in China. Um, and they're urging people not to fly. So, I, I don't know, but please, change your ways. The time of God is at hand. Rapture will soon take place. As I said, there's nobody that's perfect, but I pray by the grace of God. You will look within yourselves and you just try and make a change some way, somehow. Share this. Let it touch you. It's meant to touch. If it didn't touch you, it's not meant for you. But I hope that you, but I just pray that you will take heed and just pass it on. I've done my part. I don't, I'm, I don't intend to die for anybody. So I had to do this video to try and release the burden that I'm feeling. I had to do it to make myself feel at ease because I've been disturbed. I'm not sleeping properly. So I just pray by the grace of God that you all make a change. It's, a 20, it's the year 2020. It's a new era, new period, new time. It's a new day. It's a new season. And while you're doing this, I ask that while you pray, that you will praise with it. Praise God. Lift your spirit. It is well with you. Thank you for listening. Bye-bye.